Rich here at American Roller Company. I've been here for about 37 years. I started in 1978, I believe that's what it is. And for much of that time, I've been booking. And what booking is, is we take a customer's rollers, we identify them, we identify the, any problems with them, and we write up their orders so we can make them their, their rollers. And part of the inspection process of the rollers is the journals. And it's probably one of the most important parts of the core inspection because if we have bad bearing surfaces or bad center holes in a core, it's hard to make a good roller. Because what happens is you need a round surface to make a round roller. And you also need damage, no damage, or anything like that to cause other issues. Because what can happen is if, if you get vibration, if you have a bad bearing surface, if you get vibration, you can have web breaks, you can have um, bad coating, you can also have just downtime. It's just downtime replacing it or other rollers that may be damaged because of it. So it's always important to, that we check your rollers and that the bearing surfaces are in good condition. So what we do is we'll clean them up, We'll just visually inspect, make sure everything's good, make sure the center hole is good, because the center hole, we run a center on there when we're grinding it, so the center hole is concentric to the journal surface, and be concentric to your rubber roller. The journals uh, are a specific size, typically for the bearing, or, or a gear, in this case I have a gear fit on this side, I have a keyway, and so it's, it's designed for a certain size and a certain fit of uh, the bearing or gear. So in this case, we'll measure that up. And on this one, we're at 1748, which is a slip fit for this gear surface. And it's exactly what the customer wants, so we're, we're perfect on this one. It's just, just how it works. On the opposite end of the core, we also have a, well, we have, we have a bearing surface. On this end, we do not have a keyway. They're running a bearing on this end. So what we'll do is we'll also check this end. And we're also at 1748. So this, this surface is also good. They'll be able to put slider bearing on. It'll fit. Everything will run true. They'll be able to have a good roller for production. Before you saw me do a journal type core, now we're going to look at the, the bearing surface on a tube type core. Again, uh, we need a round surface to make a round roller. And what we do is we use a three point gauge. That way we can and check it and make sure that it's not on a round. And basically, we just put it in. And you will see if we got a size on that. And we have a range, we just use a standard machining tolerance for bearing, for bearing size and we use that range for if it's good or bad. And in this case, that is right in the middle of the range. I spin a quarter of a turn, so we have six places actually we hit. We got the same number, so we have a round surface. We're right in the middle of the, of the size. We're, we're good. So in the same way, we'll just check the other end. Same thing again, right in the middle of the range, we have a good roller. We'll be able to take this roll, strip off the covering, put a new one on. The customer will be able to have a good roll to run for a long time. So, what happens when we do find bad bearing surfaces? Here in American Roller, we have over 75 years experience working with rollers, and we know what it takes to get them back into a good condition. Uh, we have procedures in place so that we know how to handle them. Uh, with customer's approval, if we have, like, a, for example, here we have a journal, what we would do is we would turn down that surface, we would overspray it with a metallurgical uh, spray weld, and then we would grind it down to the tolerance needed for the bearing surface. If we had a tube type core, we might also do that. We might turn it out and then spray it and weld it. Or we may have, uh, perhaps depending what the, the material is made out of, we may have to put headers in it, but they would be pressed in and then pinned in. It would be whatever is the most appropriate repair for that core. What happens then? Well, after we make those repairs, we do another inspection. We want to make absolutely sure that those surfaces are good for you. 
we can keep your molds in good working condition and help eliminate problems you may have in printing or in your webs or in your clips. So, thank you for your time. I hope we learned a little bit today about bearings and why they're important to fix. Thank you.